So you got yourself a MacBook Pro, here's how to set it up. Let's get started. All right, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, or pretty much any Mac. I'm using the MacBook Pro M4, the latest model with the latest software, but it's pretty much the same for all devices. The first thing we're going to do, open up your MacBook, make sure you're on this screen here, and then just give it a click on this little arrow or just click any key on your keyboard. The first option that we're gonna go through here is the language. Choose a language where you're from and then click the arrow at the bottom right. Next, you wanna choose your country or region. So select it from the list and click continue. Now here's where you can configure the accessibility features if you need them or want to add them in. You can just select them, go through those settings, enable them and then click next. Otherwise, you're gonna go here and select not now and that's what we're gonna do. Next, select your Wi-Fi network, enter in the Wi-Fi password and click continue. If you're prompted like I am here for a software update, you can update it by clicking continue, but just to speed things up here, I'm going to select update later just so we can continue the process. If you don't get the software update option, it'll just take you to this next screen here. And this is the data and privacy section. So you can read through this, click learn more, and then click continue when you're ready. And at this point, you can choose to migrate your information from a Mac, Time Machine, Backup, or Startup Disk, or even from a Windows PC. We're not gonna do this because this is a fresh setup, but if you do want to, you can just select whichever option you want and then follow those steps. It'll then start uploading that information to the Mac, and then you can continue on with the setup. So for us, we're gonna select not now, here you're going to sign in with your Apple account. Most likely you have an Apple ID from your iPhone, iPad, or other Apple device. You can enter in the email or phone number. If you don't have one, you're going to select here to create a new account, and it's gonna walk you through the process of setting that up. Now we're gonna use our existing account, so I'm gonna enter in the email and click continue, enter the password, and click continue again. Now, if you are prompted for two-factor authentication, just read what it says there and follow those steps to confirm it and then click continue. Once you click continue, you'll be brought to the terms and conditions page here. Read through this, select I have read and agree, and then click agree. Now you're just going to create a computer account for yourself. So from here, you can put in your full name or whatever you want. And then you wanna choose your account name. This is gonna be the name of your home folder on your computer. So I just gave it a name here name it anything you like so you know that folder and then you want to set up a password it's just extra security just like your iphone or any tablet you use you put in a password so that others can't just open it up create a password now if you want to enter a hint here you can and you can also select the allow my apple account to reset this password and then click continue now during this time it's going to create your account it'll start setting it up adding all the things from your iCloud account to the computer. Give it a few seconds. It might take a few minutes depending on how much it has to do. I'm gonna speed it up and return when it's done. Now from here, you can customize all of these different options here, and we're gonna do that. So you're gonna tap Customize Settings down here on the bottom left. And the first one is to enable location services. So you can select this and location services will work with maps, different applications, different things you do on the computer based around your location. You can check that to enable it. I'm not gonna do it right now. I will do it later and I'll click continue here. It's prompting me because I didn't select it and giving me an update here. I'm gonna say don't use to confirm that. And now at this point, you're going to select your time zone. If you use the location services, most likely this will be checked here. You can click on the map here to choose different areas and you'll see the time zone or you can select from the drop down. I'm just gonna select this for this example here and click continue. This section here is all about the analytics and how you want to share these analytics with Apple. So the first one, share with Apple. I don't and I never share my information with Apple as much as I can. So I deselect that and I click continue. It's totally up to you though. Screen time is a great way for you to track and monitor how long you're using different apps, different things, setting limits on your Mac. If you find that you use it too much, you can then configure this by clicking continue. But this is a long process and it's very much tailored to yourself. So you can do that. Otherwise, select setup later and that's what we'll do here. Next, we're gonna set up Siri. And as it says here, Siri helps you get things done by just asking it questions, search, what's the temperature, things like that. 
But also, Apple Intelligence is also built into some Macs, like the MacBook Pro M4. So you'll be able to take advantage of that stuff too within Siri. So make sure enable Ask Siri is there and click continue. Now it's going to give you an example of what you can say. Just say Siri, then your request or press and hold on the microphone key. We're going to click continue and set this up. We're going to say what it's asking here. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And that's it, Siri is ready to go. So now you can start using those commands or any command you'd like to use the assistant on your MacBook Pro. So we'll click continue here. And now it's asking you if you wanna help improve Siri and dictation. So you wanna share your audio recordings? Obviously for me, nope. So I'm not going to do that. You can choose what you like. And then File Vault here is a way for you to secure your data by encrypting the contents of your disk and locking your screen with a password. So you can have this on. And you can also select to have your iCloud account unlock the disk if you need to. So that's how we have it set up here. We're gonna click continue and set up Touch ID. Now Touch ID is just like Face ID, just like unlocking with your password, but now using a fingerprint and Touch ID is right here on the MacBook Pro top right. You'll be able to unlock your Mac, buy things, use Apple Pay, get apps and passwords and things like that. So let's set this up. We're going to click continue here. And we're gonna place our finger on top, lift and rest, lift and rest a few times. And you'll see what happens on screen here when we do that. And you wanna get different angles of your finger because you won't be grabbing that touch ID sensor the same way every time. So try, try to grab everything you can, different sections of your finger. And that's it, touch ID is ready, click continue. Here it's asking us to set up Apple Pay to pay for things using our fingerprint on the computer. We're not gonna set this up here. There's just too much personal information there, but it's very easy entering credit cards and things like that. And here you can choose the look of your MacBook Pro. So this is dark mode, light mode, and then you have the auto mode, which will change between dark and light mode based on the time of day. So just for this example, let's just stick with auto and click continue. And that's it, welcome to Mac, hit that space bar, and this is your new MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, or if you're resetting your MacBook, it's all nice and fresh back to its factory setting here. So that is it. That's how you set up your MacBook Pro, how you set up the MacBook Air or any Mac for that matter. If you ran into any trouble or have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. As always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. I post tons of videos on all Apple products and tech devices, helping you get the most out of them with tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.